So guys, 2015, 2016, what's Gucci? Let's go. <laughs> uh, tonight we have Alyssa and Anna with us and we're gonna be reviewing 2015 and maybe 2016 and maybe other things that come up like my cat because I like to talk about my cat. I know Paul tells me to start talking about my cat. I have a story. Anyways, forget about the cats. <laughs> Hi girls. <laughs> Hi girls. We're talking about 2015 and like your highlights from the year. Maybe something you remembered, something that stuck out, something that you learned. Um, how has your 2015 been? It's almost over. Remember from 2015. I can't remember anything beyond after before. I don't even remember what I did this year. <laughs> I would say it was a pretty good year. I feel like this year went by so fast, so I'm like, if I don't, hopefully I don't confuse it from that, the other year. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this year? <laughs> that was like a personality of its own. I guess like camp memories. Well, to me, 2015 was actually a blur. A blur. Oh. I remember good things from camp because I was finally not a child there. Well, it's sad and happy at the same time. Camp. Camp? Mm -hmm. Camp. Youth camp or choose like? Choose like. Choose like. Oh, youth uh -huh. camp too, but choose like. Youth camp was fun. Youth camp was like our first year, so it's like experiencing. Uh -huh. Like we didn't know what to expect, so it was just like something else. Thought, something you really enjoyed. Is there anything you like? Choose life camp. Choose life. You know, I've been getting that a lot. Choose life is really awesome. By the way, next year in July or June or August, come. My greatest memory was clearly those amazing free will debates that we've been having. Oh my god. I know you <gasps> participated in the Yeah, of them. free will or, or predestination and I mean we did start hanging out more that like now that we got a car and we could like drive. Uh-huh. And yeah. we started remixing a lot of songs. Yeah. For your car. They're not really remixes, they're like our own music. Uh-huh. A lot of sirens. Siren? What? <laughs> Why don't should I ask? <laughs> what did you do? You can see whatever oh, yeah. you want. I got to like, I got better at volleyball. Andre you got Peter. better at volleyball? Like, Andre and <laughs> Peter. Kidding, they I did it. Play volleyball. Andre. And Peter. Andre Wasif. Uh huh. Okay. My relationship with my parents changed because I have been like, honestly, I've been such a jerk to my parents. Mm -hmm. And I regret that, but mm -hmm. now I'm trying to like see from their point of perspective like mm -hmm. how they look at everything and I'm getting that they're just trying to do what's right what's right for me, what's best for me. And I'm kind of happy and praise God that he led me back to like taking like so. some respectful ways to my parents because seriously, mm -hmm. I've been talking back to parents and it's just mm -hmm. like, and I saw myself like that from their view and I'm like, wow, I'm a total jerk. So messed up. You're working in that, right? Yeah, but praise God, I'm getting more, like, getting more respect now. Yeah. It's actually good, and I'm giving more respect to them. Let's praise God. Mm -hmm. I stopped being Christian, but then mm -hmm. I came back to the realization that I was very, very wrong, and I came back to Christianity. And the amount of acceptance that I found in my friends and just everyone around me was really. Um, it was really comforting mm -hmm. to know that. I'm so happy to have you, hun. It was it was a hard year. Um, mm -hmm. I lost my grandma this mm -hmm. year, so and that was that's tough. Um, it's the first death I've experienced ever, so it was it was difficult. Mm -hmm. But overall, I would say it was an important year in my life. Mm -hmm. A year I think I really needed to have to um, to see what what life really means and mm -hmm. um, to really show me how important and how much I actually want to be a Christian mm -hmm. to actually fully decide that I'm going to stick with this. Uh -huh. So I started the year off in a not so good state but then as the year progressed I've um, you know dealing dealing with some emotional problems on my own I've uh, I've kind of established some some, uh, I've established some principles in life that, that I think, that, you know, I've established kind of my core beliefs, core what, mm -hmm. core the core of what I believe and what is important in life. And um, actually, like I still, I gave you know clear definitions of kind of who are my friends, and that really helped me. I gave me um, a, a sort of a more of a direct, direct approach to life. As much as that was cool, I had like this down thing. Mm -hmm. This year, like spiritually, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm thinking of 2016 changing that, mm -hmm. making like I don't know more emotionally and spiritually connected with God because mm -hmm. this year 
I felt like I had so much stuff to do in church and then like school and then I wasn't giving it fully to God even though I was like serving God for like stuff but it wasn't you weren't personally connecting with him mm -hmm. and I feel like that needs to change. This year actually for real came to God because last time I did it was like Galicia. I was like 12 years old, I was small, I was a small child, didn't really take it serious. Mm -hmm. But this year I just made a big U-turn back to God. I've been living a super okay. simple life. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's talk about maybe 2016, what are you guys looking forward to? Anything you guys are interested in changing or looking forward to making happen? Dropping out of school. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Anna! Wait! Hold on, pause! Anna! Honey! <laughs> College can be a good thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Do you ever make New Year's resolutions? Um, I used to make New Year's resolutions yeah. until I realized um, not all of them I have kept. So huh. lately my resolutions were basically, just, they just kind of like a to-do list. If you don't check them off, they're just there. They're so just the there. New Year's resolutions uh -huh. are just to continue with the New Year's resolutions. And yep. hopefully this year, <laughs> Like, you know, find my prince on the Oh. Is there something you guys are looking forward to in the new year? Um, I am. Yeah, what is it? To grow more spiritually and read the Bible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I just, I really want to make something of myself. Yeah. To go out there and uh, make a difference, even if it's only in my own life. Oh, that's amazing. I had a resolution. What was it? It was to be a better person. Uh-huh. So what does it mean to be a better person? Like, don't be a yurkle, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> don't be a yurkle? <laughs> no. One thing is that I really need to study in math. Uh, uh, math is... Whew, mm -hmm. Down there, I gotta actually put effort into it. I'm really forward to, like, uh, making my, like, career. I really want to decide on what I want to do in my life. Like, mm -hmm. like one certain thing. Like, yeah. It's, like, okay. my biggest thing. Are there things that you're between right now? Yeah. Um, mechanical engineer or a, a culinary, like a chef. Wow, those are very different. Yeah. <laughs> New career. New career, and what's that? Mm, maybe an electrician. All right, what about you, Andre? What are you looking forward to? Um, I might go to like a small community college to mm -hmm. play sports. I heard you guys want to go to the same college. Is that still something that's happening? Yeah, probably. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Are we looking forward to 2016? Are we? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> this is where I go up. Well, what I'm looking forward yeah. to is Hoping to continue to grow, first of all, in God, uh, mm -hmm, in my faith. Um, really solidifying my beliefs. And then one of the things I'm looking forward to is perhaps pursuing a new career. Yeah. But I feel like we always start so like happy and like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm planning all this. And mm -hmm. the next year, I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh. Or, like stuff happens and you're like, okay, I'll start next year. And mm -hmm. the year's not even over, so you could you still have time to change it, but you're like, yeah. okay, next year I'll start, you know, and have the mm -hmm. whole year. I feel like if I could like start now, maybe it'd be easier next year. So you don't like not in January first. Okay, start new year. Maybe like start from this year and like so just tomorrow. But um, I do believe in just a constant working on yourself and a constant improvement. Just like Constantine. Ah! That that was. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> I want to in 2016 to become the person that God has me and planned to be. Mm-hmm. That's good. Man. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. Don't limit resolutions just for the new year. If you decide that you want to change something in your life in the middle of August, change something in your life in the middle, beginning, or end of August, or whatever month you choose. Um, it's never too early, too late. Um, always remember that God's always there for you, no matter what you do, no matter how terrible you think it is. It's all in your head. It's really not that bad. And mm -hmm. um, God's very, very loving, and it's best to do that now rather than later. Put God prioritized. Have no doubt in God. Listen to what your parents say, because if you do not, you're gonna go down here really quick. Trust me on that. I've basically been there, done that, been in a lot of bad situations, so don't worry about life, don't worry about job. Everything happens for a reason. You're not alone. If you have troubles, like if you could relate to like one of the problems we had, no, you're not alone because we all go through like downs in our spiritual life so mm -hmm. the main thing is like realizing that this is something that's not supposed to be there is the first thing because some people were like okay you know i'm not getting enough time with god but that's okay because you know god knows i'm busy and i have school and i'm doing this but you have to realize that that's not okay and you need to like focus more and personally know god
So you really gotta invest in people. You really gotta pay attention to people. It's a people versus program thing, and I think yeah. people is the investment that pays off. Program will not. Like, stay positive, smile a lot. Have fun this year. Have fun this year. Yep. Yep. And don't do anything that's not giving praise to God. Uh, stay cool and stay positive and encourage others because that's and what I learned for a lot. And this year. Yeah. Don't change yourself for others. And Mm -hmm. Every single person in our youth is amazing. Let's have another great year Let's and an even better one. An even better one. Yes. I really hope like our youth becomes more closer. Because mm -hmm. I feel that we need, we need that a lot. Never give up. Have a great New Year's. You guys, let's work on that. Power the people. Great. And Satan took it as a personal challenge and was like, I'm gonna see. And then, you know, kind of my daily routine recently. Uh -huh. Cut myself, come home, come home, pass out at home, sleep, wake up like four <laughs> hours later, don't even remember sleeping. <laughs> I skip two meals a day that way because I just pass out. Everyone eats, I wake up, <laughs> everyone's sleeping, so I just eat something. My dad's like, Can you just fight someone? Yeah. <laughs> and you wake up, just my kind of my daily routine recently. What? Let's talk about this, okay? <laughs> you cut yourself. A lot of times I scare myself too. You scare yourself? So you deal with it by cutting yourself. He cuts himself. Yes. <laughs> he gets paid for it. You see these? <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that, that image in my head, I'm just... Oh my gosh, I hope you never lose your fingers. Oh. One swipe is all it takes. Cut myself, as in my job is the type that no one else really wants to do because it's sheet metal. Yeah. Like my sister stole like half my clothes to Australia. <laughs> you want to your clothes to Australia? Oh my god. Sucks. I don't have anything. Like, I only have one sweater. <laughs> you took all <laughs> your clothes. You but took all your clothes to Australia. I took most of them. Oh my she took the cool stuff that I like to wear. Uh huh. She took my volleyball warm up jersey. Mm hmm. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> my name's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I have many cats. <laughs> <laughs> and so today. <laughs> like everyone's like, hi, how are you? Like, how are you? <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Like, how are you? Come on. What's the I don't get it. You gotta explain that one. <laughs> Actually, I was reading the Bible and then Genesis. <laughs> you have pretty nipples. Uh, gentles. <laughs> Bring the horse shank collider. <laughs> 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 Alright. Now I look like a monster. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I don't play with like small calves. This is so cute. Like, oh, it's like a microphone. Can I have this? No! <laughs> and I'll ask you to like. He would be the one that actually makes it drop. <laughs> <laughs> That was the whole thing. <gasps> <laughs>